I want to thank you, Joe, for a beautiful time that we are having in your presence. Thank you, dear Lord, for National Christian Council. Thank you, dear Lord, for Reverend Dr. Sam Paul and all the leaders in the National Christian Council. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wisdom that you have given them to organize this meeting and for the many ministries, which continues to be a blessing to so many people in our country and across the world. Today, dear Lord, once again, we commit uh, the leader, the speaker in your loving hand, and let your fresh anointing be upon the leader and the speaker. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that you will minister to us. And this uh, program will be a great blessing to each one of us that are here this evening. May you take complete control of this meeting. And I pray that you will lead us toward this meeting. We give you all the praise, glory and honor. For we ask all this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Brother Tungdi Molotha, for leading us in prayer. Yeah. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, praise the Lord. A warm welcome to this National Executive Committee meeting of the National Christian Council. I am Brighty Bula, uh, a member of uh, uh, NCC Founder President's Office team and State Children Wing President of Telangana. By profession, I am a special educator of special children working towards their growth uh, their studies and for them to become inclusive in their uh, mainstream society. <clears throat> As a teacher myself, uh, I would like to wish you all teachers of God's word a special uh, teacher's day. Uh, may you continue to shape many lives as you a uh, teacher. <clears throat> Today evening, it is my joy to chair this meeting of NEC where we gather, of, uh, gather to study uh, the word of God on the first Monday of every month. I thank God for this opportunity for us uh, all to meet around his word. And I pray and trust uh, th uh, that, we, uh, that we will learn many precious uh, lessons today. I welcome each one that joined so far in this NEC meeting. <coughs> and would like to request you to be in prayerful and expecting for the uh, Lord to speak to us. I appreciate you taking time to join here too. You may have so many other pressing demands on your time. Uh, a special welcome to all, all the NCC leaders, the founder, president, Dr. Uh, Dr. Sam Paul, the national president, Reverend, um, but he is not here, uh, national secretary general, uh, my uh, dear friend, Mrs. Uh, Sylvia Jaidip Namburi and all other uh, NCC national leaders of NCC that have joined. A special welcome to all the state leaders from across the nation, spreading to 26 states and, and un union territory territories of uh, India. Welcome to the 17 national wings presidents and their representatives the patrons of NCC and all the special invitees that have joined today. Special welcome to our speaker today, Brother uh, Bidar Devadas, who will be introduced fully soon uh, in this meeting. Uh, as the speaker today is a very well-known uh, preacher, teacher in Hebron fellowships nationally and internationally, I will, um, I will be brief in my opening words. I would like to briefly encourage all of you to please look up the NCC website uh, that, that newly developed in a mobile-based platform. The site is nationalcouncil.in, nationalcouncil.in. Uh, and also, uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Sam Paul, uh, for uh, this uh, NCC, uh, the great uh, platform. Mm. Uh, that he uh, leading us. Our uh, mobile-based uh, uh, website is the national uh, dot uh, national council dot in. Uh, there you may reach any state leader, uh, state leader, any wing president, and state by state as the dedicated 
and dedicated volunteer ncc it team uh, led by the national it director director brother manoj ba is developing it to present uh, uh, state district and constituency ncc committees that can be seen worldwide right now the updation of andhra pradesh state is almost complete if you wish to you can look at the uh, district of kakinada in andhra pradesh and any constituencies in that district the website works as a prayer guide for any uh, to pray for our leader uh, our leaders and also as a telephone directory uh, as any leader can be contacted by just a press of a button on your mobile please pray for these leaders to be developing themselves and to develop others in their region or area of work secondly i would like to invite you to join ncc or connect us to any leader that you know from across india or internationally if they have a passion of the kingdom of god and have a burden to develop leaders the website i just mentioned has the details of all the 17 wings we have and 26 states that we are presently working in thirdly i would like to request the state president and and the national wings president to conduct us in the founder president office uh, uh, contact us in the founder president office to have any meetings about the strategy or for planning the activities of your state or to prepare any schedule for your state or wing our contact details are all in on the website fourthly i would like to emphasize the membership drive to be taken up at all levels that we can be a blessing to many and our networking with good membership can be visible to fulfill the word of god as in sam 13321 behold how good and pleasant it when uh, god's people live together in unity without taking much more time i would like to again welcome all of you to this special time to time of uh, studying god's word and thank you for making it possible for you to join today thanks to the technical team that is helping to host this meeting and all the ncc leaders that have prayed and are able to join today let us prayerfully hear the word of god on the topic of christian leadership if there is any technical difficulty uh, we are here to help you uh, you may post a message in the chat box or raise your hand in the zoom communications uh, we will attend to it immediately praise the lord uh, now i call upon uh, uh, reverend uh, dr krupa francis uh, brother please give me a short greetings or welcome words for 2 minutes good evening to one and all in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth uh i'm glad that uh, our national christian council is being uh, introduced uh, in 17 wings and all the leaders all over the states are really chosen by god i thank uh, our sampal garu who initiated this to bring all the christian leaders together and god gave him a thought to strengthen all the leaders in the nation to fight for the right cause i greet uh, one and all who have been active in this uh, national christian council in their respective levels i know that everybody is busy in their own regular schedule even though they have gone an extra mile to see that the activities in christian community be visible to glorify god 
to strengthen our bondage to fight for the right cause in right time i re i request everybody to be available for the national leaders especially our president and our founder president sampal garu and all the respective dignitaries and organizing committee so that we can come together to stand firm as a good christian community where there is no discrepancy where there is no political or any other caste creed and uh, denominational differences so this is the right platform sampal garu brought uh, everybody together without any a uh, selfish motive actually is a man of god having lot of experience uh, to bring a team together i thank everybody for this uh, time and especially sampal garu for giving me the opportunity to share my greetings thank you sir thank you so much god bless you god bless this organization to go ahead without any hassle thank you thank you so much brother the uh, reverend dr krupa prans garu for your wonderful words about the ncc uh, really it's a good platform for uh, christian leadership and christian leaders and thank you for your words and now i call upon the founder president of ncc the right reverend dr sam paul ji to welcome the new leaders and bring his uh, brief greetings over to sir a warm welcome to each one of you thank you for joining we are about uh, 27 um, good score we expected about 35 few less um, uh, very uh, thankful to each one of you for uh, making it possible to come on time uh, some of uh, those that have been not seen for a little while have come also i want to specially welcome i this morning i met with brother reverend dr stephen chitababu we had uh, fellowship uh, he is preparing to go on a long journey so uh, probably he couldn't make it uh, he was very very in a hurried uh, mode uh, to to complete many many things before he leaves so apologies from him and i welcome uh, uh, many leaders here um, national leaders especially reverend amol parag the the national praying president we are very glad glad to see him he is always um, giving us prayer information on time uh, ahead of time i also thank um, uh, elizabeth uh, the employee swing president that has come we appreciate um, that uh, you could join there are two routes one of them is nandial another route we hope it is uh, ruth kiranmai the national vice president if it is she we welcome you ma'am for joining us and uh, reverend dr lotha the opening prayer i appreciate you joining us a training director and uh, our um, northeast vice president uh, we uh, we appreciate the uh, thank um, silvia jaydeep nambari ma'am uh, the secretary general who promptly and very faithfully helps in all the activities as general secretary as secretary general and um, from far off all the way from finland ari kutinen thank you brother for joining us um, and uh, i want to welcome uh, various ones i see i see sanjeev our newly appointed general secretary national general secretary joining welcome uh, brother sanjeev tanali uh, if you did not name your phone yeah. according to your name if you did not name your phone i would not be able to recognize uh, if you named your phone i, I welcome and most of all i want to thank uh, brother bidar devdas for uh, um, i heard him a few times and uh, heard about him a lot very very thankful that he consented to be with us we appreciate your time brother and uh, we want to hear god's word from you though it is short time on digital we know we it, we can prepare our hearts to be uh, tuned and uh, hear god's word so we uh, 
welcome you and Raju Solomon, the mover and shaker of Jharkhand, continually doing meetings. The last in the last uh, few weeks, they have conducted about eighteen church visits to discuss about a legal seminar that they wanted to have in October. Our founder president team did not follow up with the schedule. Now they will do it in November. In a couple of days, we'll tell you the dates. Brother Raju Solomon, uh, welcome, sir. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, presence from Jharkhand, Jamshedpur. Uh, we look forward to your dates for uh, the Jharkhand uh, legal seminar. And uh, Sharon Robinson, Hepsi Ranga, the team from uh, Founder President's Office, along with Brighty, appreciate you all joining. Uh, we are missing a few. I have apologies from uh, Brother um, uh, Shiva Joshua. He is traveling and uh, others are missing. We hope you will join us. Salman Raju is here uh, from my team. Uh, others. Would also join. Thank you so much. Um, we want to hear God's word, and uh, we just, um, I just want to welcome each one of you, especially the new ones. And uh, if you are unmuted, uh, if you are unmuted, kindly mute so that the new noises won't come. I thank uh, Reverend Dr. Krupa Francis uh, also for joining suddenly uh, on a short notice to greet us all. I worship you, sir. And uh, those friends, uh, I see Brother Krupa's name and. Those that have joined uh, uh, all of a sudden with a small invitation, we welcome you to hear God's word. And we pray especially, I want to thank um, Reverend Victor Das, the mover and shaker in Delhi, recently met the Minister of Minorities Affairs and um, then Minorities Commission Chairman Nancy Barlow. And today they had a meeting with Nancy Barlow and the churches in um, CNI Church in uh, Delhi. And I hope we will hear about it very soon through the WhatsApp groups. Um, a very warm welcome to each one of you. Reverend Krupa Francis several times said uh, uh, I, I started or something, but I hope this is a God's way of going forward. God initiated us all to be in fellowship, to serve him and our theme of developing leaders uh, uh, in all sectors, uh, pastors, preachers, uh, laymen, all to be Acts 1-8, to be witnesses for the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God to go on. That is our work. A very, very, very warm welcome uh, to each one of you. If I missed out somebody last time, somebody messaged me after the post saying, you missed out me. I, I came in the car. I waited so much. You didn't mention to me, mention about me. I apologize if it happens. And um, today you have a new team member in the Zoom team, the new host that is Zooming us. Uh, Caleb D. Kearney, and uh, we appreciate um, uh, his uh, time and uh, his expertise that we could use in this fashion. Every month we have this meeting. Next month it will be October 3rd, Marvin White from USA will speak. November 7th, first Monday, my dear friend Dean Pinter from Canada is a pastor, Reverend Dr. Dean Pinter. He was a Bible college professor. Um, he will be speaking uh, to us. Please make note in the calendar don't say i got a sudden program uh, if you can make this one out i want to thank each one of you appreciate this time thank you for to brighty Beulah for uh, uh, um, sharing this time and uh, appreciate and warm welcome to brother Bidar devadas and to each one of you god bless us all thank you dr sample for your word of greetings and uh, now we will have a song uh, that sang and led by uh, ncc leaders uh, brother caleb d kenny uh, Mrs. Naomi Caleb and myself. Uh, this musical team has more members uh, that will be joining from the next meeting onward. Let's hear uh, them sing. Uh, let's hear them uh, sing for the glory of the Lord. The
and sister naomi for this good singing of the age old well known him and blessing us all to prepare our hearts to hear god's word now i call upon the national secretary general uh, mrs silvia jaydeep namburi uh, to please introduce our speaker today and right after her introduction we will hear the word of god thank you mrs brighty and uh, it's pleasure having uh, me here for this nec meeting and uh, also a double privilege because brother bidar devadas is a much sought speaker in all the hebron fellowships so it is really a delight and a great privilege for me to be here this evening for this meeting to hear god's word through uh, servants like uncle devadas and uh, and this song also speaks very well of all our stories yes the song tells that we have been purchased by the blood of jesus washed in his blood and we are uh, uh, what to say jesus is mine and that's the song of everyone this is our story thank you wonderful lovely song and uh, 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 to introduce about brother devadas he's a well known person in the hebron fellowships is a um, uh, his uh, life he has dedicated and almost he has been in the service for 55 years in the lord's service and he has brought many souls he has added so many souls into the kingdom of god it really it really moves me a lot okay when we go to the heaven god will ask us only one thing how many souls have you brought and we can never go with empty hands and today we are there with a god servant brother devadas and i'm so happy that i am introducing this uh, nice wonderful person he is he was born at bidar karnataka in 1947 uh, he studied in the in the bidar secondary school and later on he went to do further studies at the british institute of engineering technology london and uh, to add a few things about uh, uncle devadas he was a famous national basketball player uh, besides that it was in these football grounds uh, that uh, uncle was born again in the name of the lord and savior jesus christ when he was 19 years old and that for time forward he has never turned back he has always gone forward bringing many souls into the kingdom of god and uh, he had worked at ngri tech as technical officer later on he was anointed by brother baksing garu at hebron india since that day the lord has ordained him called him for his great purpose to minister across the globe brother devadas has ministered in many places like 21 countries maybe probably more than 21 countries 
27 states and three union territories of India. And uh, he has brought several, several souls to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he's a much sought after speaker in the Hebron fellowships uh, for, for special meetings. And here we are. We are ready to listen, Uncle. And uh, over to you, Brighty. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sister Sylvia, for the introduction. Let, let us prepare our hearts and prayerfully hear the word of God. Over to Brother Bidhar Devdas to speak, uh, speak the word of God with us. <clears throat> Thank you so much, one and all, for the screen. And really, it's a great privilege and a wonderful to have such a fellowship together. And uh, I don't think really I am worthy to speak, the, speak to leaders. I always speak to the congregation, not leaders. <laughs> But anyhow, today the opportunity has been given to speak, though I am unworthy for that, but I am sure we have been praying and our Lord will help us, Lord, this evening to bring a great challenge, how we can be a successful leaders, Christian leaders, is a very important, you know, whole thing is depend upon the leaders. If the leader is good, the team will be good. If the leader is failure, the team is failure. It is everywhere. Whether in the worldly organization or Christian organization, spiritual organization, whatever it is, the leadership is very important. Because whole things, whole thing depend upon the leaders. We keep we see in the life of, I mean, uh, Israelites, the kings of Israelites, what happened to the great country of Israelites? A spiritual king came and there was a mighty revival in Israel. And then the wicked king came and there was completely ruin. The spiritual death has taken place. So this speaks. And so many spiritual kings were there. And more the wicked kings. And the spiritual kings. And always these spiritual kings, they try to revive the country. And um, they did it also. So what is that it speaks? The whole thing depends upon the leaders. How the leader is. Now we are going to see one of the greatest leader. I'm going to speak about him today. You may be wondering who can... Who could be this greatest leader? And this greatest leader is Saul who became Paul. And very briefly within the time it has given to me, I'll be speaking. How could he become such a successful, mighty leader? How could he become? We, know, we all know how he wonderfully converted. And when he was converted, he had absolutely no idea what the church means. He never knew what the church means when he was born again. He was a Pharisee. He knew much about the Old Testament. But the death, burial of, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, he has absolutely no idea at all. But whatever it is, he was born again. His life has been changed. And God started using him. I want to read one verse before we go further. And um, all these statements which I am going to read. And they are spoken directly by Paul himself. Number one, first of all, from Romans chapter 8 and verse 37. Book of Romans chapter 8 and verse 37. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. A leader is supposed to be not, not only conqueror, but more than conqueror. We need a more than conqueror. You know, this wicked world in which we are living, in order to overcome, 
the wickedness of this world and turn into the spirituality we need the world rather the world is looking for a leader who is a more than conqueror not less than that and let us see beginning how he began when he was i mean born again he was very much interested to serve the lord and uh, before i go further one more i mean um, quite opposite word quite opposite statement actually i should have read that one first and this one later but doesn't matter we all know the word of god i mean you can definitely fix it uh, properly so in uh, romans chapter 7 romans chapter 7 this two contradiction contradicting statements made by the same leader how can he make this how could it happen see book of romans chapter 7 and verse 24 he says oh wretched man that i am who shall deliver me from the body of this death can you understand these two statements have been made by the same person he says what a wretched man i am what a wretched man i am what made him to i mean say these words in the beginning he was more unsuccessful he was trying to do something but it was all failure and the same chapter earlier he says i don't know what's happened to me. what is happening to me i don't want to go to a certain place i'm going there where i am not supposed to go i am going there where i am supposed to go i am not going there finally he cries out what a hard cry he says oh what a wretched man what a wretched man he is he is he is crying this cry after having seen the lord jesus christ He has seen the wonderful vision. His life has been completely changed, transformed. He began to minister the word of God. He started serving the Lord, but something was happening. He was not able to understand. He says, "What a miserable man I am! Who can deliver me?" He is crying from the bottom of his heart because there were. utter failure in his ministry or in other way there is utter failure in his leadership miserable failure is crying out and then after some time he says we are more than conqueror what a statement we are more than what made him to say this word then we have to see what has happened between these two verses there is something drastically happened something has happened to say this word how could he say these words that we are what what he says in one side what a wretched man i am and other side after some time he says we are more than conqueror something has taken place which has changed completely his leadership He became a new leader, a successful leader. What could have happened? Why he says, "Man, I am," because he was doing the work of the Lord, but there were failures. In one occasion, Paul himself says, "Paul had a desire to go and preach the gospel in Jerusalem among the Jews." God has made him very clearly many times. Paul, you are not chosen for Jews; you are chosen for Gentiles. I want to send you far away to the Gentiles. He had to work, but there was some eagerness in his heart. It was burning that I must preach. I must preach to the Jews. I must bring the Jews back to the Lord. this was burning in his heart 
but that was not his ministry. You know, A. W. Tozer has written a beautiful book, Tragedy in Churches. You know, sometimes, and then this title was so attracted to me, and I took that book and I read what a helpful book it was. Tragedy in the churches. Why tragedies in the churches? People are not placed in proper places. We, we don't understand. We are not able to discern the ability of the believers and where to place them. Sometimes we misplace them and bring tragedy in the churches. Now Paul, what happened to the Paul then? He had a great zeal to serve the Lord. You know, just zeal is not enough. Our, the, our zeal must be exhibited in the will of God. That is more important. Paul was, he had a lot of zeal. You know, David, he had a great joy and zeal to bring the ark with a great honor. Intention was good, but the method David has used was wrong. And then finally what happened? That has brought death. Today we are trying to, we, we are bringing death in our ministry, in our activities, in our organizations. By doing something. You see, in, intention is very good. David never had a bad intention. He had a good intention to glorify God more. Than, though, so that he brought this ark of God into the Beautiful God, honoring God. But God said, I don't need such honor. I want my work should be done in my way. How many people are suffering today? How many leaders are suffering today? For, un for unsuccessful work. How many? We are not able to understand. Paul could not understand. For example, we will give one testimony Paul himself has said. He shared his testimony. Why he said that, what a miserable man I am. There is a reason for that. Though he knew, though he knew God had chosen him for the Gentiles, but inwardly his heart was burning to go and preach in Jerusalem. I can say this is nothing. Intention was good, but the flesh was working. The flesh was working. If Peter could, you know, pay, uh, we know that Paul had um, a privilege of staying in Peter's house for 15 days or so. And Peter might have told lots of things. Peter might have shared his, I mean, failures. And Peter might have shared what Jesus said. On one occasion, Jesus said to the Peter, you Satan, and so many other things. And then Peter might have shared him, shared with him. Brother Paul, young man, Paul was very young when he was born again. And he, and he was staying in his house, Peter's house. Peter has shared. And then finally Peter might have definitely shared with his, all, with all these failures and shortcomings. You know what happened on the day of Pentecost? I was giving the message. And I gave the message. And 3,000 people, they came to the Lord. This young man was so much attracted. This man of failure could bring so many souls. Then what will happen? A man like me and go and preach the gospel in Jerusalem. All Jerusalem will be changed because I was a ring. And all the people know about me. How terrible man I was, how I was persecuting. If such man stands there and preach, how old Jerusalem with that intention, he went to Jerusalem. He went to Jerusalem. He didn't he never asked Lord whether he should go there or not. He went on his own way. Sometimes his flesh brings a lot of damage in our spiritual leadership 
flesh is very dangerous. Flesh means all the fleshly desires. All the fleshly desires. If those desires come, then it makes our leadership or our ministry miserable. What is that flesh? Money, power, authority, name, fame, these all the product of flesh. And this can never, never help to have the successful ministry. This flesh will damage, destroy. And Paul, he never knew of all these things. He went to Jerusalem. And when he went to Jerusalem, and he was getting ready for next day's ministry, maybe powerful message he was writing down. And then he was expecting when, when a man of failure like Peter could speak and 3,000 people are born again. If I speak, not 3,000, but but whole congregation will be turned to the Lord. And with that expectation, he went there one day before he reached Jerusalem and he was getting ready. Then the Lord came and Lord has called him, Paul, said, yes, Lord, what are you doing? Book of Acts chapter 22. Book of Acts chapter 22. Those who have the Bible, please open it. And verse 17. And it came, these, these are the words of Paul. And it came to pass that when I was come again to Jerusalem, even while I prayed in the temple, I was in trains. And verse 18, and saw, saw him and saw Jesus saying unto me, Make haste and get thee quickly out of Jerusalem, for they will not receive thy testimony. Concerning me, what a shocking, what a shocking news. The Lord says, Paul, not one soul will be born again. You are expecting lakhs of people to be born again. Not one person will be saved. Get away, get ready and get away from this Jerusalem. What a, what a pain. <laughs> How much he might have cried. Why? I am sure after this instance only he cried out saying what a wretched man I am. Now the Lord says nobody will receive concerning me your testimony. Nobody will receive you tomorrow. Even if you preaching will be best. Then Paul did not stop. He started arguing with the Lord. Look at his argument. Paul's argument with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, Book of Acts chapter 22 and verse 19. And Paul says, I said to the Lord, Lord, they know that I imprisoned and bet in every synagogue those that believed on thee. Now, Paul is telling his testimony to the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at this. What sort of a leader? This leader is giving his testimony to the Lord. Lord, probably you may not be knowing, but all these people know. He says in verse 19, And I said, Lord, they know that I imprisoned and bet in every synagogue those that believed on thee. And verse 20, And when the blood of thy matred Stephen was shed, I also was standing by and consenting unto his death, and kept the remnant of him that slew him. Now he is giving the testament. Probably he might have said, Lord, you are asking, you are chasing me out from this place. Probably you, you may be not knowing my capability and what my testament. Listen, I have been imprisoning, I have been beating. When the Stephen was killed, I was there. And with all these things, if the people know, they all will come to the Lord. After hearing this, the Lord told to Paul, verse 21, And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far from here unto the Gentiles. Depart. In other words, 
get lost get away no argument get away from this place oh he was he went away he never spoke he never gave them any message he went away and that's and after this situation i think that he was crying what a wretched man what a wretched man i am what a wretched he was sitting down and crying and then he, not only he is crying himself he writes he puts it this into the epistle to the romans he says what a wretched man i am unsuccessful unsuccessful leader i am sure he might have been crying before god he might have gone to the lord i am i am very 100% sure he has gone back to the lord and he might have said lord tell me where i am wrong what what is the wrong in my leadership what is the wrong in my ministry why this failure please tell me where i have gone wrong i am sure that i am born again i seen the vision my life has been completely changed i absolutely have no doubt of my salvation but what is this happening what is this happening why wherever i go is a failure unsuccessful and lord out of his abundance of grace and mercy he told him paul you are a very good man you are a very spiritual man but there is something still that flesh is working in you you want something you want he want to show he want to preach he want to know the he want to tell the people that how what a terrible man you were how great man you are whatever it is you 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 he want to put before him i never asked you to come to jerusalem why did you come to the jerusalem why did you come you never asked me you have come of yourself then he said lord that is true but now you tell me what should i do? how can i continue my life my ministry like this this miserable way how can i continue tell me where i have gone wrong the lord has shown him your flesh is not crucified you know we all must know this the first thing comes the salvation then the second step is crucifixion then the ministry if these two doesn't take place there are many people salvation has taken place they have been saved but they are not crucified that's why they have lot of problem the flesh will come out flesh and flesh I mean world as i have mentioned for certain few things how certain people are after these fleshly things like money position authority power name and fame where from these are coming these are not coming out of the spirit they are coming out of the flesh and they are overcoming and then making our life miserable then he cried out what shall we do then the lord said there is only one way you must be crucified you must be crucified then he said lord if that is if that is needed if that is required if that is must i want to be crucified i don't want to live i want to be crucified and he has been crucified he has been crucified his flesh has gone that put to the cross no more flesh he was never after fame and name he was never after money he was never after the authority he was never after the things of this world we could see his life has been completely changed he was only mindful of doing the work of god someone was said if paul has continued as a pharisee one day he would have become a leader of the jews but he never wanted that 
He never wanted that. So he said, Lord, I would be crucified. That's why he testifies these words in Book of Galatians. Book of Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Book of Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Here he says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, and not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I am crucified with Christ. Old Paul gone away. Old Paul gone. New Paul. He now, after that, he went out and started preaching. Of course, you all know what has been accomplished through the ministry of Paul. But only one thing, only one thing I want to mention, what the people talked about his ministry, his leadership. <clears throat> I mean, what, what, what they were telling about his leadership. When he went to Thessalonica and the group, he was leading a, a wonderful spiritual team. And he was the leader for that team. He has performed three missionary journeys, very successful missionary journeys. Two months back, I have taken the Bible study on this missionary, three missionary journeys in Hebron and they are found in YouTube. If someone can click and you can find out and go through probably you may get something. How the Paul and all through his life, very short time, in 35, when he was 35, has been born again, when he was 61, he was crucified. Hardly, he had 32 and 31 years. <laughs> in that, what a things he has performed. So, when they went to Thessalonica and they were preaching the gospel, what the people talked about them, they said, I want to read that before I close. Book of Acts chapter 17 and verse 5 and, uh, and verse, verse 6. Remember this, book of Acts chapter 17 and verse 6. And when they found them not, I mean Paul and other group of people, when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city crying. You know, see what they speak, they are telling about Paul and the team. The rulers of the crime, cry, I mean city crying, these that have turned the world upside down are come here. Can you mention one name in the whole world, in the history of the world, the man who made the world upside down? Alexander the King, Napoleon, or even the British Kingdom, they say that. So, we see that even the British Kingdom, it is not told that this British Kingdom has made the world upside down. But about the Paul and team, they said, these men that made the world upside down. What a leader. I'm sure God wants every one of us must be such leaders if you have to bring and build the kingdom of God in this kingdom of devil upon this earth. And God can do mighty things. A man, the man who made the world upset down. May God help us. Help us and make us such leaders. Because we need a spiritual leaders. The work of God is going down and down. The worldly things are entering into the churches. Preachers and many leaders are becoming fleshly leaders. World has entering. World is ruling. The flesh is ruling. And the work is getting spoiled. It's going down and down. We want leaders like, like, like Paul. If, if not the whole, if not we make the whole world upside down, let us make 
the places where we are and upside down and God can do that. May God help us to every one of us. I am so thankful to this wonderful privilege and I am so glad I could have this wonderful fellowship online with this, our brothers, brethren of leaders in India. Thank you so much. God bless this world. Thank you. Thank you so much, Uncle, for your insightful thoughts on Christian leadership about the Apostle and Paul and well presented with biblical truths that enlightened us all uh, so much. We appreciate your insights. Uh, thank you be to God also for his word and uh, has come to us. Now I call upon uh, the National IT Director and Andhra Pradesh State General Secretary, Brother Manoj Bob, to bring us the announcement of few uh, future programs of NCC. Over to Manoj Bob. Thank you, uh, Sister Raiti. And also, I'm uh, very happy to see all, all of you at uh, the platform. Especially, I'm very uh, glad that uh, Brother N. Devdas Karu had grown has given a wonderful message and uh, we are all blessed with your wonderful message sir. and actually we today i want to let you know uh, what are the upcoming events uh, tasks for the, our, our office also so may god help us to do all the work uh, uh, with all the help of all the uh, help of leaders thank you thank you for the opportunity Thank you. Thank you, Brother Manoj, for, for sharing the highlights of upcoming events. We be in prayer for the Lord uh, to be glorified in all these uh, programs. Now I call upon on the National Prayer Wing President, Reverend Amul Parad, to lead us in closing prayer and benediction. Reverend, uh, Reverend uh, Amul Parag, thank you for sharing with us many prayer requests in all our prayer groups from time to time and alerting us for uh, prayer uh, in all important matters. Please lead us in closing prayer and benediction. Reverend uh, Van Trong Form, can you please lead us in prayer, sir? All the way from Northeast, thank you for joining for your time. We ask you to praise, pray and give benediction to us. Yeah, one second, you have to unmute. It's muted again. Thank Can you mute? Ah, okay, right. Shall we look to God in prayer? Our gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for such a time that you have blessed us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for bringing all of our national leaders coming together in this fashion. What a blessing that we could be able to have these kinds of fellowship, have these kinds of meeting. We thank you, O oh God, that you continue to bless all these NCC leaders all over India, we thank you for the leadership. We thank you for what you are doing through this, O oh God. Continue to, Lord, excel the leadership all over India and beyond. We thank you, O oh God, for sets of leaders that you have brought them and bring them up to be your servant and fulfilling your high calling upon our lives. We thank you for such a time. Father, as we have heard this uh, evening, the great word of God, the powerful word of God that came to us, O oh God, help us that we all will cry out to you and to know more closer and to know to go more closer to you and to know deeper things from you, O oh God. And help us to be a great leader in fulfilling your call upon us, O oh God. Father, as we dismiss this program, Father, we pray that you continue to bless each and every leaders who have come from, from every corners of these uh, great nations of India. Father, you continue to, Lord, protect them, keep them. May your unction, Lord, be upon them. And let your anointing take them in the way that you want them to be, O oh God, and fulfilling your high calling upon their lives. We thank you for such a time. Father, 
Even now, as we disperse from here, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you, brother. Uh, thank you all once again for joining in this Zoom meeting. If you wanted to say something, uh, you, di uh, you, you did not get time. Uh, you can always send an email uh, to founder at nationalcouncil.in. Usually all emails uh, will be replied within 48 hours. Uh, may God bless, you, bless your evening and make his face uh, shine upon you uh, in the days to come. Thank you all. Praise the Lord. Whether this record will be, you know, with re record will be sent to us, okay. we really, yes. we really yes. need that. Thank you. Yes, yes we, we can yes, arrange the recording. Yes, yes. Red and red okay. Thank you so much. Please uh, so communicate much. through the the state office, Reverend Lotha. We will send the recording in about oh, in a week's okay. time. It will okay, be ready. Okay. Properly. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate you all joining from long distance and short distance, Reverend uh, Wang Pong and uh, Reverend Dr. Lotha. Brother Devdas, thank you so much. Very kind of you for your time and inspirational message. We are all challenged. And by thank the way, you. happy Teacher's Day to all of you because we are all teachers also. <laughs> teachers <laughs> of God's word. Yes. Brighty did mention in her uh, welcome words. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Teachers Day, Mr. Silvia. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Happy you Teachers Day. You. Also, who, who joined us in this meeting. Mr. Silvia has a lot of students in our school. Maybe 400, 500, maybe last. I don't know how many. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Many, many. Thank, Thank you, you, Brother Raju Salman. God bless you. Reverend Lotha, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, good night, sir. LFD Kenny, thank you, sir. Yeah, good night to all of you. Recording all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. God bless. Preach the gospel to every creature.